Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise. Blue Streak. Now, this is a figure that I really wasn't expecting to get in my collection from the Earthrise line. This is a Walgreens exclusive, and unfortunately, the Walgreens I have is one of those little Walgreens that really don't get anything. But lo and behold, I received a message the other day via Facebook where a friend of mine's like, hey, I'm in a Walgreens right now. They have Blue Streak. Do you want one? So after a quick PayPal transaction, Blue Streak is in my possession. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. You've got Blue Streak here in robot mode, Transformers, Earthrise, and Blue Streak seems to have a little space right there within the, the box. He's kind of jacked up like Cliff Jumper was. Nothing on the box whatsoever that says he's a Walgreens exclusive. This side of the box, of course, has the Earthrise artwork. On the back of the box, we have Blue Streak in robot and vehicle mode. But what's weird is, look at Blue Streak here. He's kind of molded like smokescreen and not like the figure I'm looking at right here on the front at all. And on the side of the box, we got Blue Streak in some fantastic artwork. So now, without further ado, let's boogity boogity and get this guy out of the package. And yes, you have to be pretty old to get the reference that I just said. Welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Blue Streak all open and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with three weapons. You have two shoulder-mounted weapons, which look like they can be either lasers or missiles, which is very G1 appropriate. And he has his rifle, and I do like the looks of that. There is an option where you can take these shoulder-mounted weapons and attach them via the pegs, just like so. And you have this mega weapon. So you got that option right there. But I want him to look more Generation 1. So we're going to go ahead and peg the shoulder weapons into Blue Streak shoulders right here. He's got these tabs. Just line those up and they will tab right into place. Got one and the other. And now we'll give him his weapon. And now we have Blue Streak all armed and ready for battle. Now, my first impression with Blue Streak is he is G1 cartoon accurate to the core. I love the looks of this figure. I mean, they really went all out on his design. The head sculpt looks amazing. I love the eyes. The eyes have a nice sheen to them, if you will. Great face sculpt. Chest looks amazing. I love how the top or the main part of the chest is more black, just like the Generation 1 cartoon. The clear headlights look great. The doors look good. Down here on the abs, eh, decent. 
but the legs the legs is where this figure loses it for me they're all clear plastic i mean check this out that is way too much clear plastic for me you know me i hate clear plastic and you you can look right through this i mean it looks really bad when you're against a white background now maybe when he's on the shelf and he's behind something a little darker it won't look so bad but right now i hate that i mean i know the generation one toy had the clear legs but there was plastic behind it there was black so it didn't look so bad this really stands out but enough about the legs down here on the feet you got the molded in exhaust and the tail lights that look really really good I mean, overall, aside from the legs, a great looking figure. Now, articulation, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down slightly and do a complete 360. Very, very tight though. The arms, now the arms can go up and down, but they're supposed to tab in right here and it doesn't tab securely. So you're seeing it go up like that. What's well, actually supposed to go up and down like so. Not like that like this i just wish that tab was a little stronger there also is a elbow bend and an elbow rotation let's see wrist rotation as well waist rotation legs up and down all around and with a knee bend there also is great ankle tilt so all in all a very nice looking robot mode now let's take a look at earthrise blue streak with siege blue streak so you can kind of compare the two once again earthrise blue streak is more g1 cartoon accurate and he also has a slim down look opposed to the siege version also the earthrise version is just a little taller and i really like the feet earthrise excuse me siege seems to be wearing high heels where the Earthrise version still has high heels, but it just doesn't look as bad. Then here's the uh, side view. Siege, this, the backpack sticks out way too far, where with Earthrise, it's more streamlined against the figure. So a really cool looking figure. I dig it, especially that big, bright Autobot logo right there. That really pops. And this guy just looks amazing aside from those damn clear shins. Now let's get Blue Streak transformed into vehicle mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove all of the weaponry, take out the rifle and the shoulder launchers. Next step we're gonna do is take the waist and do a complete 180. And then right underneath here, you can see some bad gaps right here. We got these little red flaps and you're gonna bring these up. Now be very careful with these red flaps. I've got one that just tends to pop right off. Actually, I'm really surprised it didn't do it for this video. But once you get those up into position, you're going to take the legs and just simply peg them together. Make sure the feet line up. And there we go. Legs are all pegged together. Now, we're going to take this section right here. You're going to untab this, get the arms up. Mine already popped loose, but you want to bring the arms up because they peg in right there. So now we can bring this section up and over Blue Streak's head. Then you're going to take this part right here, fold that down. This is going to be the filler piece for the hood. So get that up and snapped into place. Get the arms out. And now what you're going to do is bring this section on a hinge. You're going to bring that forward and then just kind of collapse the legs onto themselves. You're going to bring them down like so. This is a tricky section of the transformation for me anyway. So once you get that lined up like so, you're going to bring the bottom section around and they should collapse in for a nice snug fit like so you got these little red sections right here that were blue streaks heels you're going to fold those down so now the back is streamlined now you're going to take the head rotate it a 180 and now the arms bring these in but you want to rotate them so the tires are facing up like so and then just simply bring the arms in 
make sure this section, see the tab right there, make sure that is facing out. And you're just gonna bring those fists straight down, just like that. Now you wanna get the door, the door has a tab right there or a slot where you want those arm tabs to fit in. And I can usually get one side to tab in pretty good. There you go, there's one and the other. And there we have Blue Streak in vehicle mode. Now, Blue Streak's vehicle mode just doesn't seem to tab in as good as the Siege version, but it still looks pretty good aside for the clear windshield where you can see all the robot bits on the inside. That is one drawback for this vehicle mode. Nice and clear, but you can see all the stuff on the inside. If you look down, there's Blue Streak's face looking right at you. Looks really good as far as the color scheme is concerned. I love those headlights. And like I said, that big Tampagraft Autobot symbol looks great along the back of the vehicle. Lots of nice molding. The taillights look good. More clear window issues right here. We can see all those robot parts on the inside. Now I hate the wheels. I hate those clips. I think that looks really, really bad. It really takes away from the vehicle. Plus the fact it won't tab together good. Now also he's got a port here on top where you can attach the weapon. So you can put the pistol or the rifle up top like so. And you can also attach the shoulder launchers. So you got that going on, or you can take these shoulder launchers and attach them right there on the same slots. That was his shoulders in vehicle mode, or excuse me, in robot mode. So you've got this going on. Kind of looks like a James Bond vehicle right now with the launchers kind of at an upward angle. Now something I failed to show off in robot mode, I just now got reminded of it seeing those pegs, is in robot mode, this is his back. You can peg his rifle onto his back like so. So there's an option you can do. So let me take these weapons off and we will bring in Siege Blue Streak for comparison. Now Siege Blue Streak is actually one Siege figure that I never toy hack. So you're looking at both of these guys straight out of their original retail packaging as is. Now Siege Blue Streak wins it for me because of the wheels. They are not clips. So that looks a lot better though the Siege Blue Streak has those damn clear wheels for some reason. Also, Siege Blue Streak tabs in a lot better. So it's a more tight, cohesive mode than Earthrise Blue Streak. But Earthrise has that fantastic G1 alt mode. So, I mean, either or, they're both great figures. I just think Siege pulls off the vehicle mode much better than the Earthrise version. So there you go, guys. One final look at Earthrise Blue Streak in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Blue Streak with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Earthrise Optimus Prime, Earthrise Hoist, and Siege Blue Streak. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Blue Streak is a great figure for us G1ers. This guy is G1 cartoon accurate to the core. I love the paint applications. I love the sculpted details, especially with the face. My biggest complaint, of course, is those clear shins. I really wish they had done something else. Just not a fan of the clear plastic. Vehicle mode looks great too. Very 80s and like I said, very generation one. Now, as far as the transformation, I do wish he tabbed together a little tighter. The shoulder joints popping out is kind of a miss for me, not to mention that red panel piece that tends to pop off so easily. But other than that, this is a great figure and I can't wait to get his brothers, Prowl, Smokescreen, and the Evil Barricade. So there you go, guys. Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise, Blue Streak. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Blue Streak belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a great figure and a great homage to the original Generation 1 cartoon. 
great articulation, great looking robot mode, aside from the shins, and a pretty decent vehicle mode. I still prefer the Siege vehicle over the Earthrise, but to each their own, I display these guys in robot mode anyway. So in my personal opinion, even if you have the Siege version, I do recommend picking up this guy, kind of the same way it was with the Seekers. You got Siege Starscream, you definitely want an Earthrise Starscream, and the same definitely can be said for these guys. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.